We're going to need a couple of components. Get them and let's get started. Okay, so since we have our components ready, let's go ahead and assemble our project and get our motor moving. Okay, so uh, first of all, this is the power cable and this is what we, we're going to use to upload our code onto the Arduino. It's, uh, we're not going to use it now, so I'll just put it aside. This is the Arduino, the Uno, and that is what uh, we're using. I'm using so we're gonna start we're gonna connect everything to our breadboard and basically uh, this sides run horizontally across okay and uh, it's different from the ground the negative and the positive this sides labeled A to G run vertically okay so these five pins are connected but they're not connected to those adjacent to them and uh, same for these sides except that uh, this part is not connected so these two are not connected so anything you bridge you'd have to connect more power in order to get it running so to start our project let's uh, start with the push button okay so uh okay so this is just here to give a little surface area for easy pushing so we can take it off and fix it on later so uh, we easily just plug it somewhere in there and we're good to go then uh we have a resistor so this right here is a 10k ohm resistor and uh, we're going to use that as a pull-up resistor okay and what it does is that you know when you usually just connect it straight to ground okay there's a short circuit created and we don't want that because in case we're using a battery okay it will drain our battery even when we're not doing anything and we do not want that okay so this uh do the connection to ground there so since we're gonna use negative as our ground and it's horizontal and runs through we've connected our ground and uh, let's do with our power so we take it and then connect it to power awesome now we move on to connecting the button to the Arduino and uh, we're gonna use this to connect to so we pick it from between our pull-up resistor and the push button okay and what we do that is that say power comes in from here 5 volts and it gets to the button when we push down the button power would run through okay so then uh, we can get that power from here okay so say digitally that will read high but if the button is not pressed then it's low okay so let's just connect that to our Arduino and uh, say pin 7 okay so since we have that connected, uh, we can move on to our Moto driver. Okay, so basically we have about seven in pins, okay? But uh, there's only four connected now. We could have more couplers connected if we need more. Okay, and uh, since the Moto, the step Moto, okay? has five pins it's been made available and uh, we're gonna connect this moto to this driver let's just go ahead and connect it so we need four jumper wires to connect the four in pins onto our Arduino and uh,
could just line them up and uh, plug it in there like that. I missed one. Okay, I've got, I've got it now. And push it in. Good. So now, um, let's connect this to our Arduino. Okay. So, uh, you know, there's pin one to four. Okay. Pin one goes to uh, pin eight of the Arduino. Pin two, nine, three, ten, and four goes to eleven. So let's do that connection now. Okay. So it goes to eight. Okay, let's have them together so it's easy. Okay. And then we push it and there we go. So now we have a motor driver connected. So we can easily just connect the motor to it. We fix that in right there. And we have our motor connected to. Okay. Perfect. So, we haven't powered our motor driver yet, okay? So let's do that. So there's uh, two pins on the motor driver right there, okay? So there's negative and there's positive, and it takes from five to 12 volts, uh, anything more, and uh, it's gonna be destroyed, anything less, and it wouldn't be powered so let's connect our uh, live okay positive and it goes right there and uh, negative it's a bit tricky but okay there and goes to ground okay now all we have to do is to connect power from the Arduino to the board so all the components and the motor driver can get power so there's a ground pin on the Arduino we connect it to ground and uh, we connect the 5 volts to power okay so we have everything connected now this is our setup and uh, we're good to go so all we need to do now is uh, to power our Arduino and get the code on it so let's head to the code and uh, yeah okay